Jonathan, welcome to my podcast 098. I wanted to show you something that's changed about extruded objects in Vectorworks 2010. Now it might seem like something quite small, but I think it's going to be quite powerful. Here it is, I've got my two cabinets and I've got my rectangle or my modified rectangle it is for the bench top. So I select this and I extrude it. So far everything's the same as all the other Vectorworks you've ever used. Now this is the new thing. In Vectorworks 2010 you can change the height of the underside of the extruded object. So these are 870 millimeters high so if I go 870 it's moved my extrusion up to the right height. If I ever change these cabinets let's for example make them uh, a little bit lower, let's make them minus 30. So they're 840 high now. Now normally you would have to have used the move 3D command to move this cabinet up and down or the bench top up and down. Now you can just go minus 30 and you've moved your object in 3D. Now I think it's going to be really useful for putting in stuff like this that you know the height of because we now have a way on the object info palette of absolutely controlling the bottom Z of that extruded object. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit www.archoncad.co.nz